Officials of the National Emergency Management Agency are in Lokoja, the Kogi state capital, for an on-the-spot assessment of the recent flood situation in the state. The team visits some of the camps where recently displaced people by flood are settling. Back at the government house, the Kogi State Deputy Governor, who is also the chairman of the State Flood Response Committee, meets with the officials. I would like to extend my heartfelt sympathy to the government and people of Kogi State for the unfortunate flood disaster that has affected many communities, displaced persons, and impacted livelihood and infrastructure. Kogi State unique confluence location where the Blue and Niger rivers converge requires heightened vigilance and preparedness to mitigate the flood risk, particularly along the riparian communities. I commend the Kogi State government for its efforts, particularly the establishment of emergency shelters in Nokodia to accommodate displaced persons. In addition to these shelters, NEMA has deployed mobile water purification equipment to ensure the availability of clean drinking water for the displaced population. Since NIMED gave its prediction of flood, the state government started by enlightening and educating people by the riverbanks, in which most of our activities, we did it together with NEMA. In his remarks, the Kogi State Deputy Governor makes an appeal for the construction of a dam to address the reoccurring flooding situation in the state. If a dam can be constructed to at least reduce the influx of this water from Benue and the River Niger, I think it will help us to some extent. Kogi State has had its fair share of flooding in recent times, and it's also amongst the states listed by the Nigeria Meteorological Agency to prepare for further flooding that may result from water from the Lagdo Dam in Cameroon.